Look what we got right here. We got the Blood Oath, pack number five on deck. 49.3%. That's 98.6 proof. This one right here is finishing Caribbean cast. So we're going to get down to it right here. Blood Oath. You see this little uh, scripture here. These come out yearly. So this is the uh, Blood Oath number five. It came out 2019, limited release. As you can see, for 360 of the bottle. This one has a different, unique top. Has like almost like a cork stopper top. So I like that. Anyway, let's dive into it. Blood Oath, pack five. Let's go. What's up, baby? We back at it again. Drams on deck. Bye. You see it. Blood Oath, pack number five is in the building. Yes, sir. So this bad boy right here. Bile at just under 50% ABV. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this ain't easy to find. I actually had to do a little bit of hunting. Actually, I, I saw it at one of my local uh, retailers. As one of, If you watch my channel, you know I like to go to a spot called Texas Wines and Spirits out here in Carlsbad, California. Anyway, I was up in there just, you know, looking for something. But my guy uh, gave me a nice little deal on it. But still, on, keep in mind when I say a deal, I'm referring to the second market price. The MSRP for this blood oath right here is $100. But, you know, you can't always find it. for It's around $110 or so for, for, the, um, for the retail price. Um, so, actually, he gave me this one. And I actually have the blood oath pack six, which is finished in cognac cast. That review is going to be coming soon. I, just, I thought about doing verses, but they're totally different. So, I'm, I'll just do them individually. But anyway, so I ended up paying, paying uh, like, Around a little bit over three hundred dollars for both of them, so it averages out to over one hundred fifty per bottle. Like I said, second market price is a mother out here. So um, yeah, if you, if you got it for retail, like one hundred ten bucks, good for you. Um, but yeah, I, I overpaid for it, as that's what happens out here in, in Southern California. You got to pay for sunshine and other things. So anyway, blood oath pack number five. Yes, sir. As you see, it's the last of it. I'm going ahead and just retire this thing. Figure I do a review. For you guys, our fellow sippers, I got my new Glen Karen cast. I got it up in here. As you can see, the color it is a medium gold amber brown color, as you can see. Yes, sir. A little quick uh, notes or facts about this. This is actually a mixture or combination of bourbons. It's an eight-year high rye bourbon that was finished uh, the last six months in uh, dark rum cast. So you pretty much have an eight-year bourbon now with just a little bit, just a little bit of aging in a, in a rum cast. So you figure eight years old, you only have six months. That's not a lot. It's not a, 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 it's not a really a long maturation time to really soak up all those flavors that you would get from rum classic, sugar cane, honey, stuff like that. The other part of it is a 11-year uh, weeded bourbon. And then the other one is a 13-year high rye bourbon. So you pretty much you have an eight-year high rye you have a 13-year high rye. You have 11-year weeded bourbon. Um, I said the eight-year, like I said, is finished six months in rum cast. So, um, so out of those six months, they decided to say it is a what they call it. I want to make it finished in rum cast. So, I don't know. If, I don't know how finished it is, but like I said, it's only a small portion of it. So you got those three different ones. So the bulk of it is high rye. So you're gonna get a lot of high rye spice on this. That's what you're getting. Um, so it actually comes with a box. I didn't guide a box. So I, I have a box for my pack six, but not for this. So this one right here, like I said, man, if you can get it at retail, hope, you know, so be it. But this one, I, I overpaid. So that being said, let's jump right here on these notes. Let's see what we got on this nose. You automatically pick up the spice off the top. When they say high ride, they ain't joking. High, I, I can smell the spice right here. It's not flagrant or anything or, or overbearing, but you definitely pick up the rye on it. You can you can definitely tell that. I don't there, there, I don't pick up any influence whatsoever of anything that is a rum like. Nothing. I pick up straight rye spice, <sighs> like that maltiness, that grain that you, that you get from a rye. That's what I pick up. I, uh, I pick up just a little bit of oak. But spice and oak is what I pick up. I don't pick up much else. I pour myself a big, nice little um, 
full shot, I would say, not even a sip, a full shot. It has a little, not very little oiliness on it. But yeah, you're going to pick up, I mean, there's nothing spectacular going on with this nose. There's nothing that's going to wow you, at least not me. Just, just a normal, you know, rye spice and oak. That's mainly what I pick up on this nose. Unless you got a bloodhound, I don't know how much more else you can pick. Some people may, and the nose, I read other things that I pick up, but I don't pick up any orange, any nectar. I don't pick none of that up. I'm just, I'll be honest, I pick up spice and oak. A little bit of grassiness to it, just a little bit. That being said, let's take this first sip and let it soak up in the palate. Chest a little warm, a little bit. I think your chest is a little bit warm. First sip, like I said, it opens me up. Now I'm gonna take the second sip and see what we really got. Well, I pick up spice. Like I said, a typical rye spice. It's like a dry, earthy spice too. It's not like a sweet spice, like a dry spice to me. Like a slightly bitter though. Slightly bitter, dry. I don't pick up anything that is remotely resembles anything of a rum. There's no sugar, no sweetness, none of that cane, none, none of that, none of that. I, it pretty much, I, if you didn't tell me what it is, I, you know, it, I just taste, you know, straight spice. Just it tastes like a, like a dry rye bourbon. That's what it tastes like to me. Some some uh, rye spices are a little bit more, and just they, they have more layers to it, complexity to it. This one, I'm not picking up any complexity. I, I, I mean, I'm just picking up just spice, a little bit of heat, no sweetness to it. It's very drying. Um, yeah, no, I don't, I'm not getting any complexity and the, and the finish is kind of short. I mean, I could still pick up a little bit of heat, but it's, it's, it's nothing that's lingering. No kind of notes that I pick up on this one. Um, and if you can't tell already, I'm underwhelmed by this uh, product. Um, yeah, I, I'm not picking up any complexity. Let me, let me add just a little bit of water to see if that can open it up in any way. Cause right now, um, I'm, I'm not impressed, I, you know. I've had this bottle for about, uh, I had this about six months now. I got this one in, in the, as I was, as I said, the, the five in the pack six. I got that the exact same time about six months ago. Uh, got it together. And like I said, um, this one right here, I read some other reviews and, you know, I always make my own independent review of what I read, but other people that have uh, reviewed this as well, uh, I pretty much see the similar sentiments from them as I'm expressing here. It's, it's just, it's not complex. I I feel as though, you know, when when I saw this and I saw rum cast, in my mind, I was thinking like, okay, if you ever had a good rum, you know how you get that sugar cane, that that that, that kind of toffee, that those those elements that you would get, like the sweet, the sugar cane. There's a little, there's a little spice that, there's a specific kind of spice. When I say, I want to talk about a good rum, I'm not talking about no damn Captain Morgan, okay? I ain't talking about no Captain Morgan. I'm talking about some, not even no Bacardi rum. I'm talking about some of that hard to find rum, you know, that Brugels and other kind of rum. So when I saw a rum cast, my mind thought like, okay, this should be interesting. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't say I'm a huge rum guy, but there are some elements of rum that I do like, especially if it's a rum finish. If you can, if you can mix it properly, um, I'll get to that in a second. But, um, but yeah, um, when I, when I had some, a uh, little bit more, um, uh, expectations in the fact that I think like, okay, I should definitely get some kind of sweetness to this to, to mix in with whatever else they had. And I'm picking up just straight rye, dry rye, no complexity, no no major notes going on. It's just kind of it's just kind of sitting there like a dry sock. It's just yeah, it's, it's not nothing special going on. So let's see if this water can enhance or open up in any way, or let's see if it can be saved. I ain't got my fingers crossed, but we gonna find out. <sighs> Taste. 
tastes kind of damp to me. I don't, you know, nothing, nothing different with the nose. Like I said, just pick up. The only thing on what I'll say with the water and maybe a little bit more air, the, some of the spice is damper down a lot. So the hot, the, the spice that I, that I initially put my nose in with the air and the water kind of died, dissipated a bit. And I'm not picking up nothing really, to be honest with you. I'm just picking up just a whiskey glass. So I'm sorry I can't give you more notes, but hey, I got to keep it real. That's all I'm picking up. So let's see what this palette talking about. I think the water helps a little bit, just a little bit. When you put a little bit more water in there, I get just a little, just a tinker of sweetness. I say sweetness like maybe that weeded bourbon that they have in there. You get just a little bit of this slight sweetness, but it's very faint. When I say sweetness, I mean maybe just a little, you know, it's nothing really uh, that that's uh, overwhelmingly sweet, but just a little bit of sweetness. But when I say sweetness, like like I said, more of a sugar type of sweetness, not a fruit, but like a sugar sweetness, but very little, more faint. So I think, like I said, the water kind of opens up just a very very little bit of sweetness but you still pick up the rice spice and just a faint hit of oak and that's really it i mean i'm gonna give one more baby sip we're gonna go ahead and score this thing that's a rye bourbon let me be honest it's just a rye bourbon so if you or someone who is a collector, a reviewer, then, uh, you know, if you if you write about spirits, and I can say, okay, try it out, because obviously, if you're a fellow reviewer, that's what you do. Now, if you're just someone who just likes good whiskey, I personally would not recommend this, because what you're getting in a part, honestly, is just a Miller Road rye bourbon. That's what you get. You're getting the Miller Road bourbon with rye. So if you want a middle, if you want a middle of the road rye, uh, bourbon or whiskey, there's tons of them that you can get. It's not gonna cost you on the second market 150 plus, which is what I pay, or even the retail, which is 110 dollars or so. So you're pretty much paying 100 plus dollars for a middle or a, a slightly above average rye whiskey. That's what you're doing. The packaging is nice. The presentation is nice. You know, for those who who are hip to it. You know, it may have a little bit of hype behind it, but the hype ain't real. Not on this one. Not on this one. Um, there's other ones. This now, keep in mind, five and six are the only blood ups I've ever had. So all the, like one through four, I, I can't speak on those. I've never had those. But five, six is I'm a I'm a spoiler alert. Six is better than this. It's definitely better than this. But anyway, but get back to five. You know, I'm underwhelmed. You get in the Miller Road bourbon. So, uh, rye. So, if you want to, if there's plenty of rye that you can get, that's just, you know, you can get you a uh, Jack Daniels rye. You can get you, um, you know, uh, Michter's. There's just, just several other whiskeys that you can get that have rye that's not going to run you $100. So, yeah, it's nice, cool packaging and everything. But when, when I saw the word uh, Caribbean, like finishing rum, my mind instantly thought, okay, sugar cane, sweetness. That nice infused flavor that you would get from a rum, and I pick up. There's not even a. I don't pick up a damn hit, even a, a faint hit of rum. I feel like I've been lied to, honestly, because when I think of when I think of goddamn rum, I, I, there's a certain flavors, characteristic flavors. People who drink rum know, and in a damn bit of rum on here. So it's almost like if I go to the store and I order a chicken leg, and you gave me a turkey leg. Well, even if it's a decent turkey leg, that, that ain't what the hell I ordered. That's not what you told me. You know what I'm saying? So I feel as though I'm getting, I'm not getting what you advertise. I mean, though, is it nasty? No, it's not nasty, but a damn show ain't wonderful. It's not like amazing. Oh my God, it's getting down to the score. Let's just pull out there. So I, I one to 10, 10 being the best for me. This right here, I'm going. I'm not even going to bring in, I'm going to get to it in a second, but I'm not even going to bring in the price. If I just, if you just blindfolded me and said, try this, what's my opinion of this? I mean, for me, it's a six, man. It's, it's a six. It's, so that six is a slightly above average. I mean, Slightly above okay. So it's like I said, it's not like for a rye bourbon, it's okay. It's, you know, it's not bad. So it's getting no more than a six. And, and to be honest with you, if you know, if I have to factor in price, I'm gonna drop it down to a five. 
I'm gonna be honest with you. I mean, so it's so six is, is above average. So if we just talk about taste, you're getting above average burp. I mean, you know, slightly above average rye burp. But the reason why I, I bring it down to just you know five out of a ten is because of the price point and the availability. If you something like this, it is very limited. So you're gonna have to hunt this thing thing down. You're not gonna just go to your normal store typically and just find it. You may find you might find it at one or maybe two stores if you have an area that has a lot of different ones. But Honestly, you're gonna have to. This is something that if you find this, usually you either find it by accident or you're gonna have to hunt it down. You have to call up there and say, "Hey, do you got the plaque five? How many you got left?" You know, you got to do a little bit of legwork, go online, see who has it. You know, like I said, I, I kind of walk into. It. I wasn't looking for it. I saw it there. Kind of went with. I, you know, he threw me a deal. I went for it. And like I said, I, I'm a reviewer, so it's different. But for, if you're just a normal person who ain't looking to review, ain't looking to collect, you just want some good stuff. I personally would not recommend this, only because of the. Only because of the the price, but I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend purchasing it. I would recommend trying always. So if you if you got a friend that has it, absolutely try it. When I say when I say I don't recommend, I'm talking about buying it. It is not worth the price point. Even at the retail, the hundred and ten it ain't worth that. You know, if this was just a if it did if you took out the words uh, finished and rum, so if you just take out the just take out the rum aspect and just give and just put it as a bourbon. Or a, a rye, and you price it half of what the retail is, about fifty, sixty dollars. Then I may say, okay, yes, yeah, so it's a decent. You know, it'd be a little bit better then because you're getting what you pay for. I'm not, you're not getting so. Because if you're thinking you're gonna get rum on this, you will be sadly mistaken. It's no, it's, it's no really. Like I said, you pick up spice and a little bit of oak, and it's dry. It's not, there's no bomb characteristic to it. It does not very, uh, you know, developed in my opinion. Um, so it's just, it's just there, you know. Is it something to sip on? It's not bad. It's not horrible, but a damn sure ain't wonderful either. So to me, package, everything, price, availability, taste, it's a 5 out of 10. If we talk about just taste alone, 6 out of 10, it's nothing but a damn rye bourbon. That's all you get. Nothing special, dry, and I would not be picking no more of this up. Not at all. Now, only thing I can tell you, if you are someone who likes Finnish uh, rum whiskey, so if you want a whiskey that's finished in rum, this damn show ain't it. But I do have two that I would recommend for you. One of them is what I already reviewed. This is Barrel Dovetail. I did a review on this earlier. This is my second bottle of it. It's the bomb.com. I actually gave my a uh, little bit of my other bottle to a family member in a different state. They loved it as well. So this right here is sweet, is rum. If you look at my review, if you really, I'm not going to go into notes because I did a review of it, but if you would check it out, Barrel Dovetail. So if you like rum finish, this is a definitely, definitely a, a very, very complex and a lot of notes. And the second one by, by uh, Barrel as well, this is Barrel Rum, Private Select. This is a high ABV, this is 65%. So if you're someone who, uh, you know, um, not used to high ABVs, you definitely have to water this down a little bit to get to your whatever your perspective uh, uh, preference is. But this right here is a Rum Beats. And it's super sweet. When I, I haven't reviewed this yet, so I'm not going to go do much into the notes. But just so you know, it's Barrel, Private Release, Cash Strafe. Um, this right here is definitely a rum influence character whiskey. So if you want something that has a rum, I, I'm only going to uh, recommend what I personally try. So Barrel Dovetail, Barrel Rum, uh, Private Release, those are two ones that I would recommend for a rum finished whiskey. Those two, they get busy. So I would definitely recommend either one of those two if you can find those. This right here, this ain't it right here. This ain't it for me. It's just not. Nah. So I'm giving the five out of 10 all overall. It, it don't cut the mustard for me. So um, if you try it, let me know your opinion of it, your thoughts of it. Hit me in the comments. Like, like I said, but this right here, this ain't it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to call it trash, but it is. it ain't, you know, it's not trash, but it damn sure ain't it. Ain't, mm, it ain't it. So five out of 10 for me. Drams on deck, man. Thank y'all for your love. If you like that, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Anything else you want to know, I'm always accessible. And also, I'm hit the I'm look in my inbox. I'm going to drop the link from my Instagram page and Instagram. I have a lot of bottles that I have yet to review and part of my collection. So if you're interested, check out the Instagram page. Thanks for y'all support and love, man. I'm out of here. Drams on deck. Yes, sir.